Hey guys, Inferno Glade here. Welcome back to Let's Play a little bit Planet 3. This is part 5, I think. Yeah, it's part 5. Last time, we went around the ziggurat and got all of Toggle's marbles. This time, it's time we reawaken him in a cutscene. So, yeah. Don't know why it... I... Don't know why it lags there. Oh dear. Well, this, I guess, is big problem. But no problem for mighty Togger. Ha! We see you back at Ziggurat in two chips. Well, at least Sack Oka isn't alone now. She's got Odd Sock with him. So, yeah, now we're going to be playing as Toggle in 2 2 Tango. Here we go. Change form with the L bar button. Change back with the L bar button. He's called Toggle for good reason. So, we're gonna give Toggle a outfit. This outfit, the Fluff McCain outfit. So you have an easier time swinging here as small Toggle. So yes, we all know that Toggle has two forms now. Big Toggle, very heavy. Can lay things down or sink to bottom. Then get the little Toggle and see physics in action. Hold on, hold on, there's something over here. Here. Oh, we must be big. Oop. Through this secluded corridor. What's the next tutorial? See, I knew he was allergic to Yeti and not heat. Okay. Push this over here. You must be big toggle to weigh this thing down. 
you're best using small toggle for swinging and sees a lot lighter. Yep. So you got a marble chasing you down. Or is it a pinball? I don't know. Pinballs are always our enemies in these levels. Okay, so if you have two toggles, you can go over here. But I don't. To go over here or over there. It really depends on the price bubble you wish. Yep. So we got a new audio object there. Basically, little toggle will always stand on water, and big t and little toggle will no, no big toggle will always sink in water, and little toggle will always stand in it. You must be little toggle to have these gust winds blow you up, otherwise nothing will happen. Yep. Yep. Made it. Alright, so we've not made it. Okay, it's a chase. The ceiling is coming down. And you need to be fast. If you if you're not fast, the ceiling will catch up to you and it will crush you. But when you get to this elevator, it definitely will pull you back up, and Toggle will join the team. So yeah, there we go. Toggle joined the team. So we've released Toggle, but now we need to awaken the last hero, Swoop, in Bunker Lagoon. But before we can go there, we have a boss fight coming up. Alright. It's new turn. Uh-oh, he's releasing another Titan. So it looks like he's manipulating chains.
So it looks like this is going to be a chain link boss fight. Alright, so we're on the boss level now. And... Oh, god damn it. Every third world in the series always ends with a boss that's chasing you. In Little Bit Planet 1, the Skull Dozer chased you. In Little Bit Planet 2, Copernicus chased you. And in this game, Chainlock, what I call this guy, chases you. So basically, you need to outrun him as Toggle. But I do find this a better fight than Copernicus. Because unlike Copernicus and much like Skulldozer, they don't force you to ace this boss. That was my main problem with Copernicus. Because they force you to basically perfect run him if you're in single player mode. Otherwise you will lose. So basically, you have to keep running away from Charlotte Grant want to be here. And eventually, the crumbling environment will screw him over like the past two bosses of this type. Okay. And there we go. Did I die at all in that fight? Okay. Finish it off. Go back to Arcana Heart, you chain link guy. And that's two titans defeated. We just got one more left, and it's the purple one. We defeated the yellow one, we defeated the green one back at Manglewood, so we got one more to go. Yeah, I really did ace that boss. That never happened before. I guess I'm just good with Toggle. <laughs> I did not dress Odd Sock like that. And there we go. And this keeps happening for some reason. Be back in a moment. Okay, we're back. <laughs> you must find Antifit, her titan, before time runs out for all of us. Take lift to Bunkum Lagoon and evade Spook. Only together can you stop the Newton. Before he makes bad decisions, like, I don't know, big fortress shaped like face or something. You know, I think he's already did that. So that does it for the Ziggurat, our second world, or technically the third world. Seriously, every third world in the series ends with a boss chasing you. Am I the only one who noticed that? But we're going on to the final world. Yes, final world, Bunkum Lagoon.
you can expect Bunkum Lagoon to be the hardest world. Alright. We're like 16 minutes in, but yeah, these episodes are short anyway. So yeah, only two marbles to find this time. So yeah. Let me end my outro. Yeah. She's a. So. Here's where I can say my outro peacefully. Next time on Little Big Planet 3, we go through Bunkum Lagoon and we awaken Swoop. Until then, see you guys then.